Magandang umaga muli mga kapatid. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay nandun pa rin yung kagalakan, kapayapaan sa ating mga puso habang tayo ay nag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon. So today, as we start our uh, morning devotion, Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we bless your name, we glorify your name on high, O oh God. Today, Father, as we open our hearts, minds, spiritually, please empower us with your Holy Spirit so that we'll be able to understand your word of truth that gives hope, life, and direction into our lives. So today, as we continue to uh, submit our lives unto you, please guard our hearts, our mind, spiritually so that we'll be able to to understand and to receive your word with our hearts of gladness, with joy, and peace. So today, Father, we commit everything unto you, especially my brothers and sisters who are here uh, joining this morning prayer devotion. Continue to bless them every years and aspect of their lives, kasama po ang kanilang buong family. We thank you, Father. We believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things over our lives for your greater glory and honor. So today, we are so happy to give you all the highest praises, honor, and thanksgiving in the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. So today, mga kapatid, ito na yung uh, uh, last part of the purpose number four of our purpose driven life which is your shape for serving God. So yung una is accepting our assignment, shape for serving God, understanding our shape, using what God gave you, how real servants act, thinking like a servant, and today we will tackle the God's power in your weakness. So, ngayon mga kapatid, our text will be found on 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. It says, for, for to be sure, he was crucified in weakness, yet he lives by God's power. Likewise, we are weak in him, yet by God's power, we will live with him in our dealing with you. At sinabi rin po sa 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. So today, God loves people who are have these weaknesses in their lives. So, ano nga ba yung mga... Lahat naman po tayo ay... Mayroong mga kahinaan, mayroon tayong mga uh, failures, mga uh, flaws or imperfections. Sabi nga dito, all of us have their own weaknesses, flaws, and imperfections. We deny, hide, or defend, or resent this, but God used it to fulfill His divine plan and purpose in our lives for His greater glory. So, lahat naman po tayo walang perfect, di po ba? But, the good news is, we have a perfect God in our lives. And God is very much willing, if we are really honest enough to open up our weaknesses, accept our own weaknesses, that God will use it for His greater glory and honor. Para sa gayon, ang plano niya sa ating mga buhay, ang kanyang layunin sa ating mga buhay, ay patuloy niyang uh, mapag- uh, ma- magagampanan yun sa ating mga buhay. So, uh, huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa mga kapatid. Kung mayroon tayong mga kahinaan sa ating buhay, mayroon tayong mga uh, past failures or past dark uh, frustrations or hurts or painful experiences in the past kasi once we release it to God and to others, it will serve as a uh, living testimony of how God had worked in us and through us at ito ay magiging isang effective tool of God for us to be used in the ministry for His greater glory and honor. So, sinabi nga dito sa 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27, God sh- uh, share uh, purposely the weak people to shame the powerful. So, pinili tayo ng Panginoon, God chose those who have uh, or purposely 
na may kahinaan. Lahat naman po tayo ay mga kahinaan, lahat naman po tayo ay may mga pagkukulang, lahat naman po tayo ay nagkakamali. So, uh, it's a part of our Christian life that God wants us to use so that uh, His purpose and plan will be fulfilled in our lives. So, God deliberately allowed them so He can demonstrate His power in us and draw us. So, ano nga pa ba kung lahat Kung, kung ikaw nga lahat ay nasa iyo na ang kalakasan, di po ba? O ano pa ba yung gagawin pa ng Panginoon? So, dito natin makikita na uh, our weaknesses, ang ating kahinaan, dito na ma madidisplay o mararanasan natin yung kapangyarihan at kalakasan ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. So, God is not impressed with our strength. and self-sufficiency but he is drawn to people who are weak as he said one of his uh, first beatitude in Matthew chapter 5 verse 3 sabi nga blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of God so dito na pag-aralan din natin sa 8 o'clock habit through Pastor Arnel and Sister Olive di po ba yung beatitudes ito yung isang character or the uh, Christ-like attitude na kailangan ng isang kristyano ay magkaroon din. So, ito, ginagamit talaga ng Panginoon ang ating kahinaan for Him to use us more effectively in the ministry. So, ano nga ba ang kahinaan? What is weaknesses? Weaknesses is any limitation that we inherited or have no power to change. Example, mayroon tayong mga Uh, physical limitations. Halimbawa, may mga dis uh, disabilities or chronic illnesses or mayroon tayong mga ano sa ating physical na pangangatawan. Di po ba? Lahat naman po tayo hindi perfect. Uh, o kaya emotional o emotional limitations o nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, malalim or masakit na karanasan. So, nandun pa rin yung uh, kumbaga scar o Uh, past experiences in our lives o kaya intellectual limitations lahat naman po tayo hindi naman tayo marunong o kaya uh, hindi naman tayo uh, super talented or super bright kaya sometimes if God only use perfect people nothing would ever get done so tama naman po ba diba mga kapatid na kung kung ang lahat kung ang isang tao ay perfect di wala nang gagawin ng Panginoon so there is no one perfect except God alone who is the perfect God in our lives so God is never limited by our limitations for He enjoys putting His power into our ordinary containers like what He said in 2 Corinthians 4.7 we are like creatures in which this treasure is stored so the real power comes from God and not from us God will use us if we allow Him to work through our weaknesses. Kagaya yung sinabi ni Apostle Paul, may, mayroong mga uh, steps to follow para i-model natin si Apostle Paul sa ating buhay. Una po, the first step is admit our weaknesses. Kailangan natin na i-accept na mayroon tayong mga kahinaan. So, wag tayong maging pretentious. Wag tayong maging uh, pretenders kailangan natin maging honest tayo sa, sa ating sarili. So, great confessions, uh, may dalawang great confessions in the New Testament which illustrate that we need a healthy living. So, ano nga yung una? Una was Peter who said, Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. So, kinilala niya ang Panginoong Heso Kristo that He is the Christ, and the Son of the Living God. And secondly, ang sinabi ni Paul sa mga idolizing crowd, sabi niya, we are only human beings like you. So, ito yung time na, na nag-minister si Paul, di po ba, na uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, maraming napagaling, na may sakit, maraming mga uh, napagaling na yung mga lumpo, nakakalakad. So, dito nakita nila yung power ng Panginoon. So, akala nila, Paul is God. But, what did Paul uh, said to the people instead na he gave the glory to God? At sinabi niya, tao rin ako, huwag niyo akong uh, i-worship, kundi i-worship niyo ang ating Panginoon. So, ayun po. 
uh, if you want God to use you, you must know who God is and you, you know who you are. So, kinakailangan natin na kilalanin ang ating Panginoon at kilalanin din natin ang sarili natin. So, let's uh, uh, continue to know God more in our lives and let us also uh, consider ourselves that Uh, our limit, our limitations, our weaknesses is a way or a tool of God for us to use so that He will fulfill His purpose and plans in our lives for His greater glory and honor. Uh, second, second step is be content with your weaknesses. Ano nga ba yung contentment? Kailangan maging uh, content tayo sa ating mga sarili, sabi nga niya, sa ating kahinaan. Contentment is an expression of faith in the goodness of God. So, dito natin pinapakita na ang ating pananampalataya sa ating kahinaan, ang ating uh, satisfaction, ang contentment natin ay uh, nakabase doon sa ating pananampalataya at sa kabutihan ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. At sinabi dito sa 2 Corinthians 12.9, sabi, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. So, dito natin nakita rin si Paul ulit ito, nagsasabi na God's grace is sufficient enough for him, so that his, through his weaknesses sa kanyang kahinaan, the power of Christ will be displayed upon his life. So, ayun po. Since I know it is all for Christ's good, I'm quite content with my weaknesses. So, dito kinikilala niya talaga ang kabutihan ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay at upang maranasan niya yung uh, kapangyarihan ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay, naging contento siya sa kanyang kahinaan. So, ganun din po tayo mga kapatid. Huwag nating uh, i-underestimate ang ating sarili kung meron tayong mga kahinaan. Let us uh, admit it, confess it, so that uh, we can totally depend upon God and rely upon the power of the Holy Spirit who will work in us and through us for His greater glory and all. Lahat naman po tayo, mga kapatid. Walang exception. At mayroong reasons, several reasons to be content. <coughs> Excuse me. Sinabi dito ni Paul, number one is, ano ba yung uh, reason why we should be content with our weaknesses? Una po, it causes us to be totally dependent on God. So, Sama, tama naman po, di po ba na ang ating kahinaan wala tayong ibang uh, sasandigan o tutulong sa atin kundi ang ating pakinaon pangalawa po, it prevents us from being arrogant so ito uh, it, pinapakita ng Panginoon na uh, sa ating kahinaan tinuturuan tayo maging mapagpakumbaba at hindi maging arogante. So, God attach, <coughs> attaches the major weaknesses to a major strength to keep our egos check and our limitation will act as our governor to keep us from going too fast and running ahead of God. So, totoo naman po, di po ba? Uh, di ba last preaching ni Pastor Arnel, it's all about the Uh, checking our hearts, kinakailangan din natin the, na kailangan natin evaluate ang ating sarili, i-check our uh, heart, kasi dito naman talaga tinitignan ng uh, aning Panginoon, the motives of our heart. Kaya kinakailangan natin every now and then na i-check natin ano nga ba ang laman ng aking puso. Is it aligned with the will of God or uh, astray na ako doon sa will ng God. So, kinakailangan din natin mga kapatid na uh, we need to be content with our weaknesses. A third, ano yung reason? To encourage fellowship between believers. So, dito nakikita naman ulit natin na we, re we really need each other, especially to the uh, community of believers dahil sa ating kahinaan, dito tayo nagkakaroon ng uh, ways and means na We encourage one another, pray for one another, and to support one another morally and spiritually. At pang-apat po, increases our capacity for sympathy and ministry. So, dito natin makikita na we'll be kung contento tayo sa ating kahinaan, if we accept na mayroon tayo mga kahinaan, we'll be compassionate, considerate to others' weaknesses. So, dito natin ma-, ma magkakaroon tayo ng compassionate heart or 
makikipag uh, uh, empathize tayo sa mga tao na mayroon ding kahinaan. So, yun po yung purpose din ng paginoon. Bakit inaalaw niya na magkaroon ta din tayo ng kahinaan. So, our greatest life messages and our most effective ministry will come out from our deepest, deepest hurts or pains. These are the very tools that God can use powerfully to heal others. So, totoo naman po ba, mga kapatid, na ang ating life testimony, especially yung uh, deepest hurt or your experience natin in the past, kung paano tayo, uh, paano tayo binago ng ating Panginoon. That will be a uh, greatest uh, tool for us that God will use us to heal others too. If we share that experience, kung paano tayo na, paano natin na overcome yun, paano tayo, paano natin na pagtagumpayan yun sa pamamagitan ng grasya at biyaya ng ating Panginoon, yun din yung time that we will also share that uh, painful experience at kung paano natin na pagtagumpayan yun sa biyaya ng Panginoon to others so that they can be also uh, have that uh, courage that strong determination and that healing touch from the Lord. At maranasan din nila yung pagmamahal at pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa kanilang mga buhay. So, ayun po. Maraming mga Bible characters na ginamit ng Panginoon through their weaknesses. Una dito, si Moses. Di po ba ang weakness ni Moses ay masyadong uh, hot-tempered siya, di po ba? Mainitin ang ulo. Kagaya nung sinabi ng Panginoon, kausapin mo yung bato para lumabas ang tubig. Anong ginawa niya sa tindi ng galit niya sa mga Israelita noon ay sa halip na kausapin niya, hinampas niya yung bato. At ganun din po, di ba? Pinatay niya yung isang Egyptian. At hindi lang yun, binasag pa niya yung ten tablets of the Ten Commandments. Pero, God haven't stopped there. He, he transformed Moses to be the most humblest man on earth. So, dito natin makikita na uh, God, if we allow God to work in us and through us, makikita natin yung transformation sa ating buhay. At hindi lang si Moses, si Gideon, kilala nyo si Gideon, di ba? Ang weakness niya is yung mayroon siyang uh, low self-esteem o kaya ina-understimate niya yung sarili niya. Lord, ba't akong pinili mo? Ako naman yung pinaka uh, uh, pinaka baba sa lahat ng pinaka uh, yung hindi kilala na pamilya galing ako sa hindi kilala na pamilya, galing ako sa pinaka baba na pamilya, yung nandoon siya, ina-understimate niya yung identity niya, pero ginamit ng Panginoon ang kanyang buhay para i-display yung kapangyarihan ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay kagaya ng uh, pumili siya ng 32,000 na army pero na-reduce ng Panginoon to 300 army lang to fight the uh, his to fight their enemies. So dito natin uh, from uh, from his weaknesses, na low self esteem at deep, mayroon siyang deep insecurities. But God transformed him into a mighty man of valor or mighty man of courage. So dito natin nakita how God worked in his life too. Ganon din po si Abraham. Ang weakness ni Abraham is yung takot na mapatay siya para maprotektahan ang sarili niya. Anong ginawa niya? Nagsinungaling siya na sabi niya, hindi ko siya asawa. Sa sabi niya kay Sarah, di ba? Uh, kapatid ko siya. So, dito natin nakita yung takot sa kanyang puso. Pero, God had transformed also his life to be the father of faith. So, from fear to faith. Dito rin natin nakita si Apostle Paul. Di ba si Apostle, Apostle very impulsive siya, di po ba? At, Dahil sa kanyang weak-willed uh, personality, God also transformed him to be the rock. So, siya ay naging bato. From this rock, I will build my church. Diba? Sabi ni, ni Jesus Christ. At hindi lang yun. Uh, si Apostle John din, diba? He's a son of thunder. Very uh, arrogant din po na apostle ito. Pero, God had transformed his life and he was being called the apostle of love. Di po ba? So, lahat naman po tayo, mayroon tayong mga kahinaan. But, don't stop upon it na huwag nating itago, huwag natin siyang, uh, kumbaga, ikahiya ang ating kahinaan. Bagkos, uh, let it, let us be open. Let us be honest 
to God na ang ating kahinaan, we cannot uh, rely on ourselves, but we can rely and depend only on God's power over our lives. So, ano po yung pangatlong uh, steps or uh, kailangan natin gawin? Next is, honestly share your weaknesses. So, kinakailangan din natin na i I share or ipamahagi rin. Kasi ministry begin, begins with vulnerability. Ito yung kahinaan natin. Paul model vulnerability in all his letters. Una, his failures, his feelings, his frustrations, and his fears. So, vulnerability is risking yet emotionally liberating. So, opening up relieves others at diffuses your fears, and it is the first step to freedom. So, totoo naman po ba, di ba? Lahat naman po tayo, ang ating kahinaan ay nagkakaroon tayo ng frustrations, nagkaroon tayo ng takot, yung feelings natin, ang ating uh, failures natin, but God used it all for us to be an effective tool in His in the His ministry for His greater glory and honor. So, God said, He gives grace to the humble. So, ito po yung, uh, ano nga ba yung humility? Humility is not putting yourself down or denying your strength. Rather, it is being honest about your weaknesses. So, pretent pretentiousness is, repels about authenticity, attracts. And vulnerability is the pathway of intimacy. So, our strength creates competition while our weaknesses creates community. So, the most essential quality of leadership is not perfection, but credibility. So, people will be able to trust you if you're honest enough to accept your weaknesses. So, ano yung pang-apat? To glory in your weaknesses. So, sinabi sa 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 5, Paul said, I'm going to boast only about how weak I am and how great God is to use such weaknesses for his glory. So God turns our strength into a weakness in order to use us even more in his ministry. So see si Jacob is such as a uh, one of the Bible character that God uh, uses his strength and turn it into his weakness. So, long time he was a manipulator, he spent his life scheming and then running from the consequences. One night, he wrestled with God. Sabi nga niya, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. God said, all right, but he grabbed Jacob's thigh and dislocated his hip. So, ano yung significance nun? Ba't niya, ba't niya ginawa yun? So, God touched Jacob's thread. Ano yung uh, kalakasan niya? Ito yung thigh muscle is the strongest part of our body. So, it turned it into weakness. From that day on, he is limpy, so cannot run away from God. It forced him to lean or rely on God, whether he like it or not. So, if you want God to bless you and use you greatly, you must be willing to walk with a limp the rest of your life because God uses weak people for His greater glory and honor. So, mga kapatid, I hope and pray na... Uh, Lahat po tayo ay na-blessed, na-inspired, at na-encouraged sa uh, pag, uh, salita ng Panginoon na ito. Dahil alam ko lahat naman po tayo, we struggled. We have different struggles, challenges, situations in our lives. At ito minsan, ang ating kahinaan na isang hadlang ito. Pag, hindi natin, pag tinatago lang natin ito or magiging isang uh, hindrance para tayo ay lumago sa ating pananampalataya sa ating pagidoon. So, let's continue to be transparent. Let's continue to uh, to be open up whatever the trials, the weaknesses, the struggles that we have so that we'll, God will be able to work in us and through us. So, ano nga ba yung uh, points to ponder here? God works best when I admit my weaknesses. At yung verse to remember, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9a, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect. In weaknesses. So, and what is the question to consider? So, am I limiting God's power in my life by trying to hide my weaknesses? What do I need to be honest about in order to help others? So, ano nga ba yung kahinaan ko na kailangan kong surrender kay God o maging open sa iba for them to be also encouraged to them for to be inspired so that 
it will bring honor and glory to God to fulfill His purpose and plans in our lives and through our lives. So I hope and pray, mga kapatid, na mayroon po tayong natutunan sa araw na to. And I hope and pray that God will speak unto our hearts and God will also transform our lives from greater, from glory to glory because God has a great plan upon your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O God. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, napakabuti mo sa aming buhay. Minsan, Panginoon, sa amin, mayroon kaming mga kahinaan, mayroon kaming mga struggles, but then we are here surrendering it all up to you. Please give us the courage, the strong determination to be open up to others and to you, Father, because apart from you, we are nothing. But in your glorious presence, we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. We are so blessed and be reminded with your word that your grace is sufficient enough for us. Help us to learn to be submissive, to be transparent, to be humble enough so that even in our weaknesses, you can work in us and through us. Salamat po ama sa mga kapatid na nandirito. I-bless mo po ang kanilang family na nire-represent nila, lalong-lalo na ang mga mag-asawa. Bless the relationship, even their children. Bless them, Lord, that they will grow in the grace and knowledge of your Lord Jesus Christ. And help us to be a part of the community that will bring glory, honor to your name. Help us to be an encourager. Help us to be an agent of your transformation. As you empowered us with your Holy Spirit, Help us, O oh Father, to be a part of your ministry for your kingdom purposes here on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. Help us to become the person that you want us to become according to your will and plans in our lives for your greater glory and honor. We thank you, Father for what you've done and you are still doing upon our lives. This is our prayer. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. Mga patid, thank you. God bless and God loves you. Bye. Have a great day.